What's going on, family? It's your boy Howie, Try Hip Hop Podcast. Yes, I'm dropping another awesome thought, I'm taking a little dry, a little scenic route, you know what I mean? Um, real quick, I just want to get some thoughts out, man. And um, I just, I just kind of happened to think about this morning. Uh, hold on, let me let me get this because I'm just thinking of getting the back of the steering wheel here. Uh, not the steering wheel, but the what my call it. Well, I can't we'll worry about that later. But anywho, um, so I was listening to Boys Walks this morning. And, um, they were talking about, you know, Bill Cosby, you know, as far as, like, what he's, his interview that he, and I haven't yet to watch the interview, but, um, but what he was saying that, you know, Cosby pretty much standing in his truth. Um, I just happened to think back, you know, a couple, you know, probably a couple of months ago. I mean, well, it's been more than a year ago with a uh, uh, bought, bought him Gene murder. Uh, but, you know, how they hugged that lady on the stand because she was going, you know, she was going to jail for 10 years, which really, that's a slap in the wrist, really, you know, because that been anybody else, especially a black male that did that. That been capital. That been capital punishment. But, uh, anyway... What I was trying to focus on is this lady, she did a bad thing. I mean, we all went through it. We all talked about this. How the judge gave her a hug. They fixed her hair. All this, that, and the third. And don't get me wrong when I say this. I know people are going to be like, well, Cosby did this and he shouldn't go back. But my thing of it is, can, can you give the same respect to Bill Cosby? Everybody's done wrong, folks. Everybody's got skeleton in their closets, including me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got skeleton. There's some shit I ain't proud of doing. I, I'll be the first to admit that. Um, but the thing about Cosby is, in this interview, from, and this is what I've gathered from Boyce Walkins. Again, I haven't heard the video. Uh, now, they don't have proof on Cosby you know, you know, raping that woman, uh, Andrian Constant. They don't have proof on that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he already gave her money. So, my question is, why is he in jail for it? Why is he in jail? And, but the thing of it is, one thing about Bill Cosby, here's something that you're not seeing that you know, I'm gonna start he's like I'm gonna serve my time I'm gonna serve my time do my three to ten years you know cause I'm not gonna admit and say that I'm guilty I'm gonna do my time to let you know that I, did, that I didn't do this I'm gonna stand in my truth and after from an 80 year old man to do that that's very, very strong. I mean, shoot. I mean, let's be real. We got, we got dudes right now in 20 and 30 to fold for like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little petty crime. But yeah, my man stole the deodorant over there. You know what I'm saying? It's some bullshit like that, you know? So, shout out to Mr. You know, Mr. Bill Cosby, Mr. Mr. Huck, American father, you know? I mean, it's just, you know, it's really just a sad thing, you know, as far as, you know, what they did in trying to tarnish this man because he just, he just did, he did so much for black people. And not just only black people. I think, you know, generally, yes, it, ultimately for us, but I think it was definitely for people as a whole as far as, you know, self-worth, you know, being able to see yourself and being okay to, you know, being the skin you in and being educated, being the skin you in and thinking like an intellectual. Not only, I mean, that's just, you know, that was mainly for us, but anybody can relate to that. If you 
uh, you know what I'm saying, who's got some type of, you know, decency. I can relate to that. Um, but anyway, that was just a thought. That's just what I was thinking on. Um, I just kind of wanted to get that out there because I've been, I ain't really done these in a while. And it's, you know, I just want to go ahead and get a thought out. And, um, y'all just, again, you know, I appreciate everybody supporting us. And, you know, today we're going to do our 100th episode. And, we, we just want to shout out and appreciate those who support us and watch us faithfully. We really, really appreciate y'all. Uh, and shout out to my man Curtis. You know, put doing, you know, creating a lot of content and stuff. And, uh, which, you know, we got to have a little discussion about what we're going to do about as far as, like, YouTube goes and everything, the way, you know, they're trying to change these guide, community guidelines in, in about, what, eight more days? I think on December 10th is probably be like the, um, for the deadline for that, but I, I'm not going to get into that, because, you know, I, I was kind of taken away from what I was really talking about, and that was uh, Bill Cosby, Mr. Cosby. Anyway, it was just a thought, um, I say... You see a black man trying, if you see him out there today, regardless of all the mistakes and stuff that he's done, or you see a black woman, all the mistakes she has done, give him a hug. Tell him that you love him. Tell him that you care, because look, you know, we're not really promised tomorrow, you know, and we won't, you know what I'm saying, do, do give people they flowers now. And uh, also, you know, even people that are non, you know, are non-black, you know, tell someone you love them. Hug them. Give them a pound or whatever. Because we're not, we're not promised tomorrow. Anyway, just throwing that out there. Peace.